Hey y'all, welcome to Sweet Tea and Butterflies. Today we are participating in a collaboration. I made a couple of little tear tray farmhouse signs. I'm going to let Trish tell you about the collab. Welcome to the Thrift Flip Road Trip. In today's video, we are participating in an open challenge hosted by Unicorn Dust Designs, Crafting Cousins, and special guest host, CJ DIY. Here, talented creators breathe new life into old items. But wait, there's more. We are thrilled to announce that this month's playlist will have a special giveaway with five lucky winners. Prizes include a deluxe easy bow maker from Buckeye Girls Lifestyle, a craft tool kit from Lady Red Crafting, a mystery box with crafting supplies from DIY Next Door, and two wood craft kits from Crafting Cousins. To enter, just watch the July Thrift Flip Road Trip playlist and comment your favorite project from each creator on their video. You must comment on every video to be eligible. Mark your calendar for July 27th when we will announce the winners on our community tabs. I'm sorry, due to shipping costs, giveaway is open to U.S. residents only. Don't miss out on this chance to win and be sure to spread the love by following the playlist link in the description box below. Alright y'all, here we are on DIY number one. And I have used a couple of scrap pieces of wood um, from my roof repair so um and this is the absolute first time i've ever used any chalk paste um and the stencils and whatnot so i was trying to wait until i the the little scraper tools and stuff that i ordered came in but i just had to get in there and play so I made do with what I had. Um, it wasn't perfect. There were a couple of little mishaps, but that's okay. That's part of the learning process. So first I started by painting um, the, the sides of um, those planks that were not stained uh, with Waverly white chalk paint. And I kind of did a batch create here, so some of these are going to be a little bit out of order. Um, you'll notice, fin you know, finished things that it, it you'll see what I mean. Um, but anyway, um, I for all of you that have subs have subscribed to my channel and continue to support me, it means the world to me. Um, thank you so much. For any of you that are new, I invite you to please subscribe, like, comment, share. Um, it means the world to me and it helps boost um, my channel so other people who might be interested in what I do can um, also see some of my videos. Um, so thank you so much for the support and don't forget to hit the playlist link in the description box and go watch all the other creators and as you saw from the um from trish that we uh this playlist comes with a giveaway so i will also put the um giveaway information in my description box as well so if you want to you know enter the giveaway go look at all of that and follow you know what it says to do all right so here um i went with this one i did double sided and um this i'm doing this one on the side that was stained and this one says fresh milk i believe um i just decided you know i wanted to try to keep it a little simple the first couple that i did um it might say farm fresh milk but anyway so i did that one with um 
with the white chalk paste and then once it dried I flipped it over yeah it says farm fresh milk once it dried I flipped it over and did um, the other side with and I'm off to the side fuzzing these because you have to fuzz them before you know the first time you use them so that they don't pull up your paint so this one says farm fresh eggs and I got a little more a little braver with this one tried to do a little more complicated there I think it would have worked fine if I had the proper tools and honestly until I was watching this video to edit and everything if I had I'm thinking if I had cut that card up into smaller pieces and whatnot it's it's the account that that card goes to is closed so it wouldn't have hurt me to cut it up if I had cut it up into smaller pieces I probably could have accomplished what I was trying to accomplish um, without too much issue but anyway you get to watch how us crafters kind of make shift when we don't have every little thing we need uh, this side did not turn out the way I, I was hoping for it to turn out but it's going on my tiered tray so I just left it as is you know at the end and it, it's no big deal I know that this when I look at it I know that this was a learning process a new new crafting um, thing and that it didn't turn out god-awful I just had one little mishap on it as you'll see here um, I wanted the eggs in there the the word eggs in black and I just couldn't figure out how to maneuver around and and miss that when I was trying to get the rest of the stuff in there so I've seen other other creators that use the chalk paste and all that go over um, you know if they have to do the whole thing in one color I've seen them go over it with another color it just didn't work out great for me and I went too far and got it in a spot that I didn't want it um, but that's okay it's a learning process and I'm okay with that I just I couldn't wait to play with the the chalk paste and the uh, stencils so you know it is what it is but um, I took and I also used the black for the farm fresh part of it as you'll see here um, I'm just kind of going through and trying to be real careful as I'm doing the words there and evidently it looks like I keep looking I'm I typically have the TV going while I'm crafting so I was probably looking up at something that piqued my interest I usually throw something on that you know a program or something that I've watched all of you know numerous times so it's just kind of something in the background but I don't feel compelled to look up you know stare at it and watch it evidently something piqued my interest who knows so um, I signed on to this collaboration like three days before the videos um, were due to be posted so um, and you'll see here that I'm trying to go back over this with the the yellow in the area that I messed up and it, it didn't work but anyway so I had to keep my projects simple and just a couple of them because I didn't have a whole lot of time and I've had some family issues that kind of put a kink in my plans um, which you know I mean hey that's life we all have stuff that goes on that you know family is family and you do what you got to do that kind of stuff always comes first so hopefully the next time around I'll have because I have plenty of things to craft with um, that I got in a haul so um, that would be perfect for this playlist so here um, I'm taking now that I've got all of the um, chalk paste on there as some of you may know 
the chalk paste, um, you can wipe it, you know, you can wipe it off and, and start over again or, you know, it's temporary unless you seal it. Let's just put it that way. So I coated all of it in Mod Podge to seal it in so that there wasn't, um, so it didn't flake off or whatever. <coughs> Pardon me. So here I'm taking some of the air dry clay and I'm making a little milk jug and three little eggs. And um, originally with the, the little eggs I made, I had planned on putting them like with the bow that I put on the, the thing because I had planned on doing a bow and I was going to put the little eggs in the center of the bow. Um, and you'll see here in a minute what I do with the little eggs after I get, um, get done making all of them. I'm just trying to do the best I can to make that look like a milk jug. I don't think I did too bad. I probably, I mean, I'm sure somebody who works with clay all the time and does sculpting probably could have done a lot better with it, but I think it turned out pretty cute. Um, I'm happy with it. And here I'm just rolling the, trying to get the eggs all the same size and whatnot. And I keep, <laughs> I keep having to pull some off of there and start over because I had that one just a little bit too big. It's taken See, that's where I was like, oh, it's still too big. So I start, you know, took some more off of it, started again. Eggs aren't too hard to do um, with the clay. You just kind of make a ball and then taper it a little bit at the top. As you can see here, I'm just trying to work the clay where it doesn't have, um, where you don't see the seam, the seams where it kind of melds together, trying to make sure it's nice and smooth. I'm fixing one there where it still showed a little bit and put, um, immediately put that back in the package there because it doesn't take long for it to start trying to dry up. So here I've got the small one and I'm putting some of this uh, ribbon around the outside. I only did it on the sides and the top because it would have affected if I had done it across the bottom then it would have made it where it didn't stand up properly. It would have made it kind of uh, wobbly. That's, that's what I'm looking for. Wobbly and just trying to get this around there and tack down nice and secure. Um, unfortunately with this ribbon, the glue likes to try to pop through there. So I'm trying to quickly push it down a little bit without ending up with the glue stuck to my fingers. Wasn't 100% successful with that, but didn't do too bad considering. So I want to take a minute to also um, invite you, all of you to uh, follow us on our social media pages. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok. And we also have our own um, craft um, group on our webpage where you can, you know, chit chat and, and whatnot. Um, and submit projects, discuss ideas, you know, whatever. So I'll leave the links to all of that in the description box as well. And as you can see here, I'm putting like a little um, shoestring bow up at the corner on this side. And then I glue the little milk jug over to the other side at a little bit of an angle there. Now, when it came to this side, um, I, like I said, I was going to put a bow on here 
and put those eggs in the middle of the bow. Um, I didn't put a bow on here. Let's see, I got glue strings. Love it. I didn't put a bow on this side at this point, but as I was getting ready to take the photos, it just didn't look right without having, because I, you can see the other bow sticking up from the other side. So it didn't look right. I added a bow just before I snapped the final pictures and everything. But I just, I was looking at that and I was like, wait, I wanted those eggs white in the middle and couldn't figure out how to make that happen. It wasn't working properly. So I stuck my little eggs, clay eggs on there. And now we're on to the longer one, which, um, is basically a it says love but with farmhouse you know little farmhouse things um, which I thought was really cute and this one this one turned out okay um, I didn't have too much issue with it uh, and each you know I've watched other creators that use the chalk paste and stencils and when you're doing like a multi thing there where it's not just one swipe across with the same one, they pull it up so that the, um, the paste doesn't dry and make it, um, make it pull up when you're trying to remove the stencil at the end. So I just kind of followed what I've seen others do. So I'm using, um, some of the brown, chalk paste. Now I ordered these stencils and the chalk paste on Amazon, but um, I've also gone in and um, I'm ordering from Chalk Couture in the future. Um, chalk Couture tends to be a little more expensive, so I went with a less expensive option at first just to try it out and make sure that it's something I wanted you know wanted to get into so after doing these I was like oh yes definitely <clears throat> so um, I have ordered some of the chalk couture stuff and I will um, I've ordered from Brenda from rustic and lace DIYs I used her link um, to order my chalk couture stuff. And I believe, I don't know if she's in this playlist or not. Um, I'll leave, if she's not in this playlist, I will leave a link in the description box for her as well. Um, and I invite you, if any of the other creators in this playlist are chalk couture designers, then I invite you to definitely order from them as well. Um, if you're interested. So here I took, and um, the E is um, basically like a rake, you know, the, the rake part of a rake. So I did it in, in the black. I just thought this was just really cute. <laughs> so, and here I just pulled all that up, and there you have it. And you notice that when I was doing the, the wheat, um, I kind of ended up with chalk paste over the stencil and, and um, where I didn't want it. You saw that I took a wet wipe and just wiped it right off. So here I am sealing it with some Mod Podge um, to make sure that, you know, it's, it be, it's permanent now. And I'm doing the same thing with this one, with the ribbon, just wrapping it around the sides and the top. And just, you know, the same thing, just making sure it's got a secure thing, you know, secured across there, trying to push it down without getting a whole lot of glue on my finger. If you've worked with hot glue and, and ribbons like this, you know the struggle. So just a, another reminder, don't forget to check out everybody else uh, in the playlist. Uh, if you're interested in the giveaway, like I said, um, I'll leave 
written instructions in the description box as well so you don't have to go back through and listen to the the video portion of it um and just you know go through and follow the instructions and i believe july 27th is when they'll be announcing the winner so here i am making um a finger bow which this is the first time I've successfully pulled this off. I've, I've watched Brenda do it so many times and I've tried so many times and failed and I finally successfully managed to get it done. Um, I don't know why it was so hard. It, it was just one of those things. <laughs> so I did manage to successfully pull off my first finger bow. Thank you, Brenda, for showing how to do it multiple times in your videos. I finally got it. Um, I did have one loop there that just that just didn't want to behave, um, but I found a, a fix for that. And I put I put the bow in the center, um, and as I was taking pictures and everything. I was like, no, nah, that bow doesn't work very well there. So I will probably move it over to one of the corners. Probably the um, the right-hand corner over by the E. I didn't have a chance to do that before um, doing, you know, finishing up and editing this video. But the tails of that bow kind of cover the wheat, so. I will probably move it so that that shows. But here I'm, here's my little fix for the unruly loop. Um, but here we go there. And we're on to the final reveal. I thought they turned out pretty cute. You know, like I said, I've got a couple spots on the, on the one that I'm not happy with, but I can accept it. It's a learning project process and it was mine, but thanks for watching. Have a good day.